water, I think, uh, has more so stepped up to the plate to become not only uh, a uh, contractor for the sewage district here, but they've also become part of the neighborhoods. They've been part of the city. When you treat wastewater, you're, you're both providing clean water, you're reclaiming that water for uses uh, elsewhere. But another byproduct of treating wastewater is biosolids. And some really smart people in the 1920s decided that we were going to make something called Milorganite, Milwaukee Organic Nitrogen. So I think when Veolia came on, they understood that um, you know, it was something that was probably relatively unique in Milwaukee. Uh, they didn't want to upset the apple cart and decided, you know, let's use that uh, existing knowledge that was here with some really great employees and, uh, you know, utilize that knowledge and now they've, they've taken it to a point where, you know, we are able to uh, market more organite throughout the world. Verilia is uh, uniquely positioned in, uh, in the water sector to uh, uh, to bring more value to our clients, to come with, uh, with creative ideas. Uh, in Milwaukee, I think we have a very nice example of that. We thought that for decision makers to optimize the value uh, and uh, understanding um, of uh, the impact of a project, they needed also to understand what was obviously the return on investment, the economical footprint, uh, the carbon footprint, and the, the water impact index. And being sustainable is really finding the best balance. Now, systematically, for any new project, Milwaukee look at these three aspects. And so that leads them to be smarter in terms of uh, making decisions and always trying to optimize the value between the three dimensions. Veolia has uh, added a lot of value to the Malorganite program, improving the overall quality of product to uh, savings relative to the, the operations from an energy consumption perspective, and eliminating um, waste that would have um, oftentimes gone into landfills. We've had partners prior to Veolia. I think the thing that I value most about the relationship is the openness relative to uh, improvements and issues that we jointly try to tackle. The Water Impact Index was again um, a, an idea from Veolia Water and it was an idea that said you know there's more than just that gallon that you use there's more impact on the environment than just that gallon of water that you use. It's a measurement, it's a way to look at how you impact the environment. It's a way to say um, what we do every day, how are we really impacting the water environment, how can we improve on that. So for now it's, it's kind of a baseline for us and it's one that um, as we go forward with our capital program we'll use this index to help us measure uh, whether we want to do a project or not. It'll help us prioritize our projects, um, I'm hoping. Presently, the, the, the Jones Island facility uses about 1.5 million decatherms of natural gas per year. Uh, the initial startup of the landfill gas turbines uh, will be able to cut the, that amount of natural gas in half. We are right now doing startup and implementation on the new turbine facility. That turbine facility is going to house three new turbines turbine generators, each one of them is going to be generating about 5 megawatts at 13,000 volts, 13,200 volts. So we're monitoring all those different aspects to make sure that the turbine is running at peak efficiency. Over the course of 20 years, we'll be just about completely on landfill gas and eliminate the, the need for natural gas. It has a significant reduction on both carbon footprint as well as water impact index. So the landfill gas pipeline project is entirely Veolia's idea. I, I give Veolia all the credit for this. We started this contract with Veolia in February of 2008. And I think within the week they came to us and said, you know, we operate this landfill about 17 miles away that we're just wasting off all this methane gas. So it, it's a beautiful partnership. It reduces our carbon footprint quite a bit. 
It reduces our uh, re uh, fossil fuel usage a lot. It saves our ratepayers money over the 20 year term of the contract. So here's one of those issues where if we were just operating the system on our own, we'd have never thought about it, truly. We'd have never thought about this. But Veolia came in and uh, you know, opened our eyes. And it, so it has been, uh, it's one of the probably signature sustainable projects that we have ongoing, and Veolia gets all the credit for that.